kitchen now and for the first time we're joined by Susie Lee. Welcome. Hi. Hi. I am going to be making you sweet and sour pork Cantonese style. So mm. your takeaway classic. Um, and here I am about to marinate the pork. So okay. we're having... Are you taking notes here? A bit of I am taking egg. notes. I uh, record the show anyway. Um, uh, uh, I've, some... I've got the app, uh, so I've had the recipe, and I'm eating it, and it's everything I dream of. Ah, ah, there you go. Some soy. And this is your key ingredient. This is corn flour. It is used throughout Chinese cooking. And what we're doing here, we are velvetizing so the us, meat. Just remind me what's in there so, at the moment. egg, corn flour, some pepper and some soy. So what mm. you're wanting to do here is marinate it and you're tenderizing the meat. Mm -hmm. So this is a really key step and a minimum of 10 minutes. And if you want to make it for later or the next day, cover it in the, and put it in the fridge and As it's it ready then. to go. So is this your dad's recipe? It's my mum's recipe from our own. takeaway. So sorry, mm -hmm. dad and mum. So yeah. <laughs> so with that, after having marinated it, I dust it with flour and this is the kind of the crunchy crumb of what you're eating there. So in that, I had some corn flour, some plain flour, salt and pepper, and literally I just coated it. And you're getting this kind of kind of crunchy exterior, which we're about to fry off wow. here. Right. It's much more you, than uh, you While thought. you're popping that in there, I just want no to... No it's, it's arrived from Studio Two. Bearing in mind, we're only next door. There you are. How nice is that? You've got your loose swimming mug. It's got my name on it. I'm a loose woman. You are. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. <laughs> How pretty is right, that? Sorry, thank carry you. on. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm interrupt. actually breaking things out oh, okay. here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm literally frying those off and you're wanting a lovely kind of golden kind of colour. You're mm -hmm. ending up like this. What are you What are you frying them um, um, in? What sort of oil? So vegetable oil, because if you use olive oil, it has a lower heating point, so therefore you will have a smoky kitchen. Yeah. So um, a vegetable oil or a rapeseed oil, something like that, yeah. has a really good temperature okay. for frying. So those are going to brown off. But if you want to make this in advance, only sort of fry them for a couple of minutes and then leave them to the side and heat them up in the oven so they're super crispy for later on for oh, the next day. That's very clever. Yeah. So in here, we're going to make the super easy sauce. And people don't seem to believe me, but all it is is, is water, some vinegar, and I'm talking cheap white clear vinegar, um, some white sugar, castor sugar or granulated, yeah. straight in, and then the tang is your tomato puree. No That's it. way. That's absolutely is it. Is that what it is? Yeah, and there's no magic kind of ingredient in I there. I can't believe that. There's no Can ginger, there's no soy. This is that really tangy sweet and sour that people are like, I can't make that kind of sweet and sour, so that's it. That's, that's it. mad. Oh my goodness So your me. corner shop ingredients, that's it. But it's, you know, it's, pretty tasty. And it's also, incredible. It's such a unique flavour that you don't get on any other recipe anywhere. Yeah. It sort of really so, is, and it that is classic. that takeaway classic. And yeah. It's part of my cookbook, which is coming out in August. Well, oh, congratulations. Have to come back for that. Thank but you. I, I'd never even attempted it because I just thought it would be really complicated. No, but that's how easy it is. Literally, <laughs> it's as simple as that. So here's me trying to multitask. Oh, no, you're doing a good <laughs> so job these are there. browning away. So can you use, if you don't want to have pork, can you use anything? Use anything. So you can obviously use a chicken. You can use a meat alternative. There's all those kind of corn oh, bites, yeah. you know, that you can use, but you're already breadcrumbed. Use those, use king prawns, anything like that. Um, but if you're going to use, like, say, a beef, then do exactly the same. That velvetizing, that corn flour is key. And that makes a difference? Yes, absolutely. So I'm going <sighs> to now start with the veg. So in here, I've softened onions and some carrots, mm -hmm. okay, a little bit of oil and a splash of water. It just takes the edge of that rawness out of those vegetables. Um, and then I'm going to add in the other ingredients. So I'm going to do um, add some peppers and then I'm going to add some tomatoes. Yeah, I saw that. They're yep. very nice. So if you want the sauce to be really thick, uh, then you add this, yet again, corn flour is this special ingredient. You add a little bit of water and it makes this what we would call a corn flour paste or slurry. And what's that called? Just corn flour. Oh, it is corn flour? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yes. So, literally, I'm trying God, to... Corn flour is quite key to Yes, this, absolutely. It? So, literally, you're just mixing that up and put about a teaspoon at a time. And what you're doing here is thickening the sauce. So, once it comes to the boil, it is thickened and it will be the consistency that you would want it. You just want to make sure that you have it thick enough that it coats everything. Yeah. So, I'm just going to... Bring over my ready-made sauce. And how long will those that pork fry in there for? So that is now ready to come out. Uh, so quite quick. Yeah, so quite quick. 
So that's now all off and we're going to add the peppers, the tomatoes. Mm. And we're going to whack that heat up and literally we're on the home straight now. Mm -hmm. So What's, we're um, going to add... going to attempt to do this. Would you do it with pork or would you do it with something else? Pork. Mm. I don't eat very much pork, I know. to be honest. And, and this is I always think this is a really lovely way to do pork. And it's super cheap. That's the thing. Yeah. That's mm. a pork shoulder or if you want to... Watch the calories, use pork loin or pork chops and cut it quite fine and you'll you'll just have the same result, but obviously a leaner cut of meat. Okay. okay. So that's it. I'll hit it through and I am now gonna toss these pork pieces in. And then this is when the magic sauce goes over the top. Yeah, and then literally you're just coating it. So how long were the are those vegetables that you've just popped in there? Was there any Cooking just yeah, the so vegetables. literally just flash frying. But some people like soft vegetables. I'm not a big fan of no, like I'm mushy not. veg. Bit of but if you do like a mushy yeah. veg or softer veg, cook it for a couple of minutes longer. So that's it, ready to go. I'm so impressed. I can't believe. It. I feel like we've just been let in on some huge secret about that sauce. And that's it. It's as easy as that. All ready, and you can add as much sauce or as little. And the sauce you, you can also freeze, you were saying? Yes, the sauce you can freeze, keep in the fridge for a couple of weeks, um, but in the freezer, a month. So you really? can just literally defrost it and then add your vegetables to that. And pop it over anything. Yeah. Wow, amazing. And um, how have you been since the show? Has it all just gone a bit crazy? It has gone a bit crazy, but I'm still working fully as a chartered accountant. I yeah. still run my own practice from home. But yeah. then I've had two TV series with BBC and I called Susie Lee's Home Cook Heroes, so they're still on the iPlayer. Yep. And then I got deal with the cookbook set in August. So it's a bit all go at the moment. You must and mummy so life busy. and wife life. So I'm kind of a bit... Well, what? tell you what, if you've got any other <laughs> secrets in that cookbook, it's going to fly off the shelf. Oh, thank this you is so a, much. This is a beauty. And we've been we've done a lot of cooking in here, sitting yeah. side by side. Yeah. Yes, this is a, <laughs> really that's delicious. a big revelation. Well, well done, you. you. Congratulations thank you so much. on everything. And whereabouts well is the takeaway? It's in Lisburn in Northern Ireland. Brilliant. So a little bit too far away for you two. What's it called? <laughs> uh, Manly. There we are. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Susie. Right, for details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs, download the free This Morning app.